Hi, welcome guys. So in this video, uh, let's talk about the uh, proving of the square root of two is irrational. Okay, but the idea is that uh, uh, I don't want to prove it use the similar the usual idea. So let's talking about the usual idea. Usual idea is that uh, people need I'd like to write the, the square root of of two as a p over q, which you will pick up both positive integers, right? Because you know square root of two is positive. So that uh, you can write uh, two q square equals to p square. So which they will tell that two dv two divides p. So that means p can write as a uh, let's say two k, right? So your two q square will be four k square. So q square will be two k square. Who you know that two divides q, right? But the uh, so they are not coprime. So which if you assume that p and q must coprime at the beginning, then you leave uh, and then you get the contradiction. Okay, so this is the junior high school proof. Uh, or uh, I mean the junior high school proof. Okay, but uh, in this video, I want to using the proof of infinite descent. Proof of infinite descent. Okay, so this idea is that uh, uh, any any sub any non uh, non empty subset of the inti uh, positive integers has a minimum. Okay, so our idea is that uh, suppose I find a solution and I assume that uh, I reach a minimum and I reshuffle, then I will get another minimum, uh, which is smaller than the original minimum, so which lead to a contradiction. So the idea is that let's write, let's write square root of 2 as 1 plus pq, p divided by q, and I choose, I choose uh, such p plus q is a minimum. Okay, I mean, if nobody understands, if uh, hard to understand, uh, that's right, yes. a to be uh, p plus q, a to be a set, such that uh, square root of 2 can be written as 1 plus p, 1 plus p divided by q. And I choose, I choose, now I choose this p and q, I choose p and q, such that uh, this p plus q Right, it's a minimum of the set A. Okay, and uh, the reason why A must have the minimum because A is a subset of positive integer. Because then P and Q are all positive. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's prove it by contradiction. So suppose not. So, okay, it's not, not suppose not. Uh, what I'm saying, okay. So now uh, let's say square root of somebody can write square root of 2 as 1 plus p q, then uh, I can reshuffle it, right? I can reshuffle it as a uh, q, q plus p uh, square root of 2, so I get 2q square equals to q square plus 2qp plus p square, which q square equals to 2qp plus p square, uh, which is a q, q minus 2p equals to p square, which you get a p, divide, p divided by q, Q minus two p divides divides divide uh divided by p. Okay, so that means uh, one can write square root of two as one plus p divided by q equals to one plus p. Q divide q minus two p divided by p, right? So, I mean, it looks stupid, right? But if you think that uh, you find a contradiction, the reason is that uh, you see the, now uh. We already said p plus q is a minimum, right? But here, p plus q minus 2p is a q minus p, which is definitely less than p plus q, right? So the problem is that I already assumed that p plus q is a minimum in such pq, but I, I find another expression which I get the q minus 2p divided by p, divided by p, right? So which is a... Uh, which is a le which is less than the original uh, p plus q, right? So here is a contradiction. Okay, so this is a proof of infinite descent. So the idea is that you start from or uh, the things you know, and then you you leave a contradiction. Okay, so this is a uh, first example, which is a trivial trivial example. And the next example that we will talking about is the square root of n. And the next next example we will talk about some difficult uh, results of the proof of infinite descent. Yeah, so I will build a video list talking about the uh, proof of infinite descent. So just for fun, subscribe to my channel.